Our goal is to take this data, insert a dash after the fifth character with a formula, and copy it down. Normally, we use the left and take five characters, join it to a dash, and then write five. But there's an easier way. We can use the replace function. Old text, well, there it is, comma. And normally, for replace, we tell it a start position like 1, how many characters, 3, and it actually removes that part of the text and replaces it with something else. But when you want to insert instead of replace, for the start number, we want position 6. So I type a 6, comma. And when you want to insert, you put a 0 for number of characters. Now we put a comma, and the text, whatever it is, has to be in double quotes. Close parentheses. And that's our formula. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. When we use start number 6, it says go to that position right there. And the 0 says push it to the side and insert a dash. Now here's your bonus. The reason that we used formulas is because if this changes, that's not VR, it's RV. As soon as I hit Enter, formulas update. But if we have some data and it's a one-time solution, and we don't care about it updating later, I give it one example to the right, hit Enter. And because that pattern, insert after the fifth one, is the same for every bit of data. I use the keyboard Control E to do flash fill. I could also go up to data, flash fill. I could also just type the first one, and when I hit Enter and start to type the second one, a list of ghost values appear. And if I want to accept it, I simply hit Enter. So rather than left and right, if we're inserting, we use replace and zero. Now if you want to learn more about text formulas, check out this video. And if you want to see how to insert multiple dashes into a formula, not using replace, but using mid, check out this video.